Hello! This is a bit of a different video for me. I am doing a duology review and comparison between Warcross and Wildcard by Marie Lu and Summer Wars Volumes 1 and 2 by Mamora Hosoda. So the main difference between these two, as you can probably tell, is that this is prose and this is manga and that is the main difference between the two but otherwise there are a few differences and a few similarities that I wanted to talk about. So starting off with the plots of each of these we have Warcross which focuses on a character named Amika Chen who is a bounty hunter and a hacker and she's struggling for money and then she does a hack that gets her caught in the world of Warcross. Warcross is an online virtual reality video game that is part of a piece of technology called the Neuralink which was created by Hideo Tanaka which is people can use glasses to log on to this virtual world and they use it for all parts of their daily life and particularly for playing video games. And when Amika makes this hack and is caught while doing so, she is offered an opportunity to go into Warcross, specifically the annual Warcross Championships, to track down another hacker bounty hunter style. In Summer Wars we follow Kenji and Natsuki. Natsuki is a super popular girl in school and Kenji is a mathematical genius who has a bit of a crush on Natsuki and right at the beginning of the story Kenji unfortunately doesn't get into the maths Olympics and so he his summer plans are up for grabs and Natsuki comes looking for someone to pretend to be her boyfriend while she goes and visits her extended family for a few weeks over the summer. Kenji agrees and off they go to meet Natsuki's very gregarious family. Alongside all of that there is also an online virtual reality platform called Oz that people all across the globe use to manage everything about their lives from their bank accounts to their medical treatment, everything is dealt with using Oz, including video gaming. And when an account starts stealing other accounts and causing havoc in Oz using Kenji's account, they have to try to work together to resolve the problem. So you can probably see what the major similarities are between these two. We have an online virtual reality platform that is hugely prevalent in people's everyday lives and something on there is going wrong and needs to be resolved by the characters. However, there are a lot of differences too. So Kenji is a very unassuming, quiet, reserved kind of person, whereas Amika, although she comes from very humble beginnings, she is very headstrong, she's very willful, she is very clear on what she wants out of life, and although she has to brazen her way through it sometimes, she's not afraid to be who she is, and that's the case right from the beginning of the book, whereas it takes Kenji a little while to build some of that confidence. There's also a huge family element in this story that is very much missing from this one. Amika's mum is not in her life and her father has unfortunately passed away, so she's very much on her own. Kenji similarly lives just with his mum whilst his dad is often away at war and his relationship with his mum isn't necessarily the closest and he doesn't have a huge extended family. In Warcross, Emika is building relationships and her own family with her friends whereas in Summer Wars, Kenji is developing a really close relationship with Natsuki's family. Natsuki's family is huge and they have massive personalities and like I said they're very very gregarious and they don't necessarily love to let in outsiders but once they do you really become part of that family and Kenji has to work for it but once he gets there it's really lovely to see him develop those bonds. So there's 
very similar relationship building in these two books it's just from a very very different kind of perspective this book is very much more focused on a mystery plot line whereas this one is a little bit more action heavy we know who our antagonist is throughout the story in this one whereas in this one as I said, Amika is trying to track down the hacker and figure out who the antagonist is. Another big difference between these is that these are two individual stories, whereas this, because it's manga, it's a continuation of the same story in part two. Not to say that this isn't a continuation of this, it's just that Warcross has its own story arc and then there's a follow-up story arc that is explored in wild card. It's also worth mentioning that Summer Wars is actually based on an anime of the same name which came out around about the same time actually but the films did precede the manga so if you're interested in consuming the story and you don't really get on with manga or you're going to struggle to find manga or that kind of thing then you could watch the film that's a little bit difficult to get hold of as well I don't think it's on Netflix or on Prime but if you could track it down then that's a really good way to consume this story whereas these have no film adaptation and are not based on a film so your only way to consume this story is to read it whether that be physically by ebook audiobook. Speaking of which I did read and listen to these two and I do recommend the audiobook, it's definitely interesting. I think also another similarity between these two is that there are Japanese inspirations in both. In Warcross, Amika is visiting Japan and she's specifically visiting Tokyo so we are getting that sort of more tourist experience of being in Japan and experiencing that culture which for me personally is very relatable because I have been to Tokyo once and I absolutely love Japanese culture and cannot wait to go back to Japan one day whereas these are set well Kenji and Natsuki live in Tokyo but they go outside of Tokyo into the countryside for the majority of the book and it's a much more authentic experience because our characters are from Japan and they're just living their lives in the country that they live in and so they don't necessarily notice the same kinds of things that Amika would notice because they just live there and you don't notice the same kind of things as a tourist notices. So I really enjoyed that experience with both books or both duologies just for different reasons. Warcross does have a little bit more focus on the geography and the locations that we are in whereas this is a lot more plot focused but also because it's manga we can visually see where our characters are and so we don't have any exposition it's all just dialogue so that makes a huge difference in the tones of the books as well. I highly recommend both. I think that they're both really good books and great stories with great characters and interesting plots. I was super surprised by how much I ended up loving this duology. I've seen the film of this one so I already knew what to expect and they are very different but they've also got a lot of similarities so if you've read one and not read the other but you liked one then maybe give the other one a go and if you like the sounds of these books and you feel like picking up both then I hope that you do and if I've persuaded you to read either of these then please let me know that down below. Ultimately I really enjoyed reading all four of these books and would highly recommend each and every one of them and I hope that this video was somewhat helpful or interesting but that's it for this one thank you so so much for watching if you like this video and want to see more like this from me then do think about hitting that subscribe button and i hope to see you here again soon thanks bye